guys, it's Delic Rissy here with Let's Play The Sims 4, Barbie Season 3, Episode 8, and Barbie is gonna pop in this part. She better have twins, she better have triplets, she better have something, because we have been trying for... This is now the third season to have twins. We've had how many kids now? Let's just... Let's just look at the... The genealogy, we've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven kids and not any of them have been twins and we've had the fertility uh, trait or fertile trait since the beginning. Like what? What? <laughs> I'm just like, I don't understand why we haven't had twins yet. It's just not, it's just unfair. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Ridiculity donk. Oh, but anyways, I'm just opening up my book of notes because you guys uh, had several things uh, to let me know about in the last part. Uh, a lot of you guys were saying the butler needs a room. The butler does have a room. Uh, this is his room over here. I'll just turn the lights on so you guys can see it a little more. But this is the butler's room in here. So he does have a room. It's just got like some basic stuff in it. It's meant to be super duper plain so some of you guys were confused if you want to see the floor plan uh it's just across from the kitchen down the hallway here and pearl's room is just tucked behind uh then upstairs we have gem's room over here we have onyx's room over here and over here is ruby's room and then upstairs is the master suite so some of you guys seem to be a little bit confused by that but that's fine uh, and then the other thing was there was some glitches uh, you guys are saying that onyx's voice has a female voice some of you guys were saying it's not a glitch it is just that i gave him a female voice i don't know but i didn't actually want him to have a girl's voice um it'd be cool if he had a more feminine voice but it sounds like definitely a chick's voice uh, so we're just going to go cars.full edit mode and I'm going to quickly whiz into create a sim just real quick. Uh, I think he needs to be awake though. How's it going? What's today? Today is Sunday. Wow, he's had such a sleep in. And a lot of you guys were not loving the hair. A lot of you guys want him to have different hair. I don't know what hair I want him to have. I, I'm not sure. Like, I don't know. This hair just does not seem like him. I'm sorry. He's not meant to be like a fashionable on trend kind of guy. He's meant to be just like, I wake up in the morning. This is what my hair's like. And that's how I just go about my day. That's kind of handsome. Maybe he should have big hair. I don't know. I just want him to be like teenage boy. He has braces. I want him to look a little bit clumsy. You know, he's going to grow into his looks. He can't just look perfect from the get go. Uh, that is such topaz hair. I mean, this hair's okay. It looks like he's got much thicker hair than the rest of the fam. This hair, that actually kind of uh -huh. suits him. I kind of like that. Uh, but yeah, I just want him to, what's like, what is just a different hair that looks like mm. I've just woken up, got out of bed and my mom's gonna tell me to brush it. That's kind of like it. It kind of reminds me of a plant sim though from The Sims 3. <laughs> Does anyone else get that feeling? I don't know, because I do. Uh, maybe this one. I don't know, I'm just not, I'm just not digging any of these. The mop hair, maybe he has thick mop hair. Let's give him a mop head for the moment. Uh, no offense to you guys, if you guys watching have this hair, mop hair's awesome. It means you have thick, nice hair. And uh, if need be, you could handstand and actually I'm gonna shut up okay so that is him that is him now let's check his voice out okay how do we change this to masculine clothing physical hmm it's still a chick's voice okay if we go like this a baby guma Oh, Connor. Okay, there we go. We can still give him a higher voice. He can still okay, he can have a high voice, but uh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna change it to a masculine because I would like it to be masculine. Um and then Pearl's age. Apparently Pearl's age says that she's older than diamond. I mean not diamond older than Ruby, which is a bit weird. You guys were saying that. I did not notice that at all. So 
I think we better check that out quickly. We might need to give her Potion of Youth to bring her back down in age, but that seems like another glitch as well. I'm not really sure how that's gone wrong or if it was just for the last part. I don't know, but we're just gonna check on it quickly. So Ruby over here, her age is going from a teen to young adult. She has 32 days until aging up and Pearl only has 30 days till aging up. How strange, my goodness, you guys have such a good eye. <laughs> what would I do without you? So let's go uh, bb.show hidden objects. Let's go to um, potion uh, of youth. And you know, Barbie, Barbie's gonna teach her daughters the tricks of the trade, how dolls never age. And that is through the potion of youth. How fabulous. Okay, so this is gonna just bring her back down. We'll get Barbie to be like, try out this new, uh, this new beauty regime I've been trying. It's fabulous. Not that she needs anything, any work done or anything, assuming she's a teen. Also, heaps of you guys hate these glasses. I don't like those glasses either. We need new glasses. <sighs> but I'm not gonna change them right now. I think we just need more glasses to choose from. That's the problem. I might, I might need to pull a sneaky uh, CC glasses. I don't know, we'll have to see. Anyways, how's Jem going? Jemmy, boy, he wants to play with clay? I don't think so. Now, how's his job going? A lot of you guys were saying he just doesn't seem like a businessman. Shouldn't he be in the sport industry? But maybe Barbie and Kim were like, you should do business. That's the right thing to do. Uh, reach level two logic skill, fill out. Okay, let's get him and Onyx to have a little bit of bonding time over at the chess table again. This is what we were doing last time, and I think this is good for them. Uh, help Onyx at school, help Jem with his work, and maybe he'll have a chat to Barbie and Ken and say, look, I know you guys really want me to run the family business, you know, be part of the diamond business, uh, the business side of it, obviously, not the actual diamond hunting career, whatever it's called. But maybe he says, look, my passion really is in sport and that's what I would like to pursue. And maybe Barbie and Ken, after him expressing to them what he actually wants to do with his life, maybe they'll be like, all right, son, we'll let you do that. God, Ken just mourns Margie so much. Oh my God, I love this outfit on Pearl. Look at her. She's such like a preppy, dresses a little bit too mature for her age teen. I love it. I just feel like that's her personality. She looks cute though, very refined, very refined indeed. Now, did this pull our age back? Ooh, <laughs> Perfect, yeah. how delicious. Okay, cool. Now, Pearl, 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 Pearl. She would like to do her homework. I can't believe she's a C student. That's like really bad. <laughs> That's so bad. Okay, so we need to get her to, did she do her homework? Okay, so we got her to do her homework. I don't think she can do extra credit work just yet. Let's just check her bedroom and see if we do have that option. Yeah, no, we don't. Oh, the flea market is in town. Click on any of the dynamic sounds around town. Okay, how about we uh, how about we go for a little outing to the flea market with Amethyst and Topaz? I feel like they would be pretty keen to go to the flea market. Uh, and we haven't seen them for a little while because we've been really focusing on Barbie and her pregnancy. Uh, so we'll need to visit them soon and maybe think about moving them into, a part, into an apartment as well. I don't know, although I kind of like them living in a different world. I think that's kind of cute. Okay, so she's using the toilet and a lot of you guys were laughing in the last part because she was doing like some sanitary option. <laughs> uh, use and sanitize, you guys were saying that's what she was doing. So I thought that was kind of cute. In other news, Barbie is, you know, she's very heavily pregnant. She's really having a having to sleep a lot, which is fine. We're just kind of waiting. Her belly's ticking. Uh, oh my God, Ken, do not cry anymore. Okay, so he is really, 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 really close to level 10. Let's, let's do it. Let's upgrade. Surely, surely, if we improve the maneuvering thrust as we can get into level 10 and hallelujah it's about time <laughs> okay so he's gonna have a little tinkle as in not a toilet tinkle but a uh, tinkle on the old rocket ship and then ruby whose hair again has been changed due to uh another update in the game it's switched off my cc oh damn girl okay 
um, testing cheats true. We're just gonna have to give her the other hair again. Okay, that's better. Uh -huh. Now we can uh, we can move on and be happy. Let's go. Let's go to the let's go to the flea market. Travel to flea market. Let's go. Uh, let's you know go with amethyst. Where's my boy Topaz? Where is he? Topaz, such a cutie. Uh, oh my God, it's Greg Anderson. De Anderson, what a handsome man. I do love him. I uh, may as well bring Mercedes. Why not? Why not just bring the whole family? Uh, Ruby would be like, ew, I'm not going to a flea market. Uh, yeah, we'll bring Jam and Lamassi. Oh, we can't? Oh, fine. Greg, you didn't make the cut. Lamassi's coming instead. All right, now let's see if we can get uh, some bargains. I feel like Onyx might pick up some computer parts if there are any old computer things there, or maybe it's more just like furniture and old lamps and stuff. I feel like Amethyst would be super, super duper into it. Yay, the flea market. Oh my God. No Barbie. What happened to your hair? Oh God. Barbie's so stressed with her pregnancy, all her hair's falling out. It happens, it happens. Anyways, this is a flea market. Ooh, some interesting old couches here. I feel like Amethyst would be like, yes, we can re-upholster that and it's gonna look for bush. Uh, what's over here? Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Uh, let's maybe get Pearl over here. Actually, what else do we have? What's this? Oh my god, Amethyst would love looking at all of this stuff. Oh, we could have put art on there. Damn, I wish we had become more prepared. Oh well, we will go... Ooh! You know what? Maybe Barbie would like these. Nice pink furniture. Let's get her over here and buy trash or treasure sofa. Let's buy these. I think she'd be like, these would look fabulous in the downstairs lounge room. Although it's looking a little bit dirty, but maybe she's thinking maybe for Diamond's apartment when they move in, there's some furniture she picked up for them, very pink. <laughs> and where are the others? Ah, oh, Amethyst, just showing off her talent. Ask about day, let's just hang out for a bit. Let's enjoy, um, the company of the siblings. Oh, she looks so cute. I have to say, I love this hair on Amethyst. Isn't she gorgeous? Topaz is pretty cool. These are like the coolest siblings by far. <laughs> and look, they've aged up and little Lamassi. I feel like Pearl would do a little joke and maybe actually no. Oh yeah, yeah, she'd do that. And uh, give her a hug. I feel like she would hug. Okay, nice. Oh. <laughs> okay, and then Onyx is pretty shy. A lot of you guys were really keen on him just being really basically dressed, like nothing trendy or anything. Maybe Barbie was like, can you make sure that you give Topaz a key to the house so he can come and visit whenever? Even though he kind of barged in last time. Oh, hey Diamond, how you doing girl? Aww, give your sister a hug, your older sis. I love when all the siblings catch up like this. Okay, is this like awkward moment? Okay. Aww, Diamond's like so gorgeous and like the, the oldest sister who's so perfect. Although her marriage isn't so perfect. We're going to work on that soon. Inside joke. Shabini. I think Pearl and Amethyst should probably get along yeah. really well. And Thru's about vampires. Apparently there's vampires now in the world. Which I think Onyx would maybe ask Diamond about. Maybe he would be... Because a lot of you guys said he would be interested in vampires and maybe even like to be a vampire or be with a vampire one day, which I thought was kind of interesting. Oh, maybe he wants to talk in private. Okay, let's go over here and say to Topaz, we're not scared of them. Maybe the, he can debate the existence first. Oh, he's really hungry as well, which is perfect because we're at a festival. Like, sir, I hear there's a new vampire world that's moved into town. And Topaz is like, don't be ridiculous. Vampires aren't real, man. He's like, no, I got proof. I've been reading online all about it. Topaz is like, oh, you're cute, bro. You're a cute little bro. 
Little does he know. Oh, Mercedes is here. Love Mercedes. Such a cool cat. Okay, let's get some food because they are starving. Did Barbie buy the couch? Get that chair. Get that chair before someone else takes it. Okay, uh, let's go over here. Onyx is super hungry. Why don't we get a... Mm, what do we want? Oh my god, I love samosas. Buy a samosa. Maybe Pearl would. She's vegetarian, isn't she? What? I thought she was veggie. She doesn't like eating that meat. She's vegetarian. She's not going to eat that. Is this vegetarian? Definitely not going to have the pork. Hmm. Maybe we'll haggle with them and be like, need some vegetarian food. Oh my god, Barbie. We, we need to change her hair, honey. Much better. There we go, honey buns. Oh, she's exhausted. Is she hungry? She already ate some food. Uh, Pearl's embarrassed for what heartless hagger from failing to haggle. Oh, girl. Why don't you just go over here, go to a different place, and get some pho? Everyone loves pho. Pho is delicious. Ooh, this guy looks like a cutie pie. How old are you? He's a young adult. He is gorgeous. Sylvester Temming. Is this Simley's creation? Okay, uh, Ruby, cute boy, cute boy. I know, I know he's not a teen right now, but you're not that far from aging up. <gasps> he's a politician, is he? I don't know. He looks like he's in the politician. Looks like Pearl is having a bit of trouble with those chopsticks. She should eat more chopstick foods like Fro to develop that finger dexterity. Oh my god. This guy is the cutest guy I've ever seen in The Sims. Okay. Uh, ask about Woohoo. Way too keen. Discuss interests. Oh my god, he's friendly too! Wolfgang who? <laughs> hey, fish, get away. This is our man. She might actually be like his, uh, his girlfriend, but... Ruby don't care. She don't care about that. Okay, show off outfit. Be like, ugh, I would love to dress in business clothes, but, you know, I have to make do with, uh, still being a teen and, you know, shopping at Chanel with my grandmother's, uh, inheritance that I got from her. Discuss fitness techniques. She'd be like, yeah, I always work out, like, five times a week. Oh my god. Okay, sorry. I'm just like being so stupid today. Okay. <laughs> Pearl looks so unhappy. You know what? Can we do something to help your hygiene? Selfie. Nice. What's this? Can we drink out of this? Toss coin. Make a wish, girl. Yeah, she probably, her hygiene would go down because she'd be like, I really don't like all the germs of this place. <laughs> Oh, where's cute boy gone? Cute boy, where did you go? Don't leave us. Okay, is this him? No, that's our next. Ew, that's your brother. That's gross. Uh, wait, where did he go? Sylvester? He's already nearby. We gotta get our stalk on. Oh, he's right here. I'm clearly blind. Okay, let's uh, heartfelt compliment and then haggle with him, like haggle slash flirt. Oh, Onyx is feeling his mama's tummy. Give your mama a hug, boy. Ah, Onyx, you get, you got me. So cute. Reveal brilliant invention. Bobby's like, that's beautiful. I'm just gonna drop it on the ground. <laughs> Ooh, Ruby can now donate to online charity. Practice pickup lines at a mirror and can flatter other Sims. You drive a hard bargain. Tell you what, I'll give you 25% off. Yo, let's buy a lamp from him. Let's buy this one, the glowing pylon. Ruby, where are you, girl? Let's just buy like all of his things <laughs> and give him a hug. Is that too keen? Maybe she'd be like, oh, thank you so much for the bargain, Sylvester. Oh, I think she got a little bit scared. Complain about parents. 
Discuss interests, get to know. I feel like these guys are going to be big. I think he's absolutely gorgeous. Maybe we should get Pearl over here and see how she gets along with him. Because that would make Ruby super, super, super jealous. Maybe he's vegetarian as well and Pearl and him have that in common. Okay, well, Ruby's just going to get something to eat. We're going to order some goikwan. And then Pearl might be like into politics and talk about vegetarianism and wanting to raise awareness about saving animals, you know. Oh, the festival will end in one hour. No, I think Onyx is a bit tired, so we'll get him to go home. Oh, Sylvester agrees. Maybe vegetarianism isn't as intimidating as he thought. Sylvester might just grab a bite to see what it's all about. Watch out, Ruby. He's into Pearl. Give pep talk. And she can be really enthusiastic about, ooh, about discussing interests. And now she's uncomfortable. Wow, talk about personal space. They're like talking from ages ages apart. He is so gorgeous. Damn. Damn, son. Okay, what else can we do here? Let's um maybe enthuse about interest. She's very Pearl's very nice, so she just be very enthusiastic and really interested. Congratulations, Ruby has taken her first steps in the culinary journey. She's going to be so unhappy when she sees Pearl talking to Sylvester. Okay, so they're like at that level. What level is Pearl at? Mm, she hasn't spent much time with him. Maybe tell engaging story. Oh my God, imagine if he two times both of them. <gasps> do an impression. Okay, let's get Ruby to come over here and be maybe a little bit jealous. She's not really, oh my God, she's playing basketball. She doesn't really care right now. I don't think she's noticed. Is that Bobby? Oh, Bobby's like, oh, Bob, oh, honey. Oh, oh, girl. Oh, oh God, we got to get you home. We got to get you home. This is not, this is not okay for a pregnant lady to be in that form. <gasps> oh, they're getting very close here. Very close. Heartfelt compliment. Brighten his day. Meanwhile, Ruby over here, she's not going to be happy about that. She'll be like, Pearl, I'm ready to go home. Everyone's gone. And then she'll be like, oh, I see you're talking to Sylvester. Uh, we've already had dinner, Amethyst. Otherwise, we would love to go. Maybe she can just go over to him and have a quick, deep conversation. Be like... <laughs> you know, Pearl is such a nerd. <laughs> She's cute, isn't she? Anyways, bye, Sylvester. And then she'll maybe give Pearl a bit of a jab and just be like, maybe just give her a little mock of an outfit. It's karaoke contest. They're also tired, though. Let's just be a little bit mean to Pearl. Oh my god, Pearl, you stank, girl. She just kind of totally embarrassed her sister in front of him, which was really mean. But that's Ruby for you, you know. She gets jealous very easily. And look at her in her little shorty short shorts. Like, got into a sport outfit for Sylvester to show off a little bit with her low-cut top. Ah, oh, Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Okay, we are home, and that was just a reminder that that little twins, uh, the likeliness of having twins has been increased here at this apartment because obviously uh, we've got that lot trait, so we need to have twins. Anyways, Pearl's hygiene was really struggling, so she's going to go have a shower, and her relationship with Sylvester went up a little bit, whereas Ruby's is a little bit higher. She's a little bit closer to Sylvester and she's already tucked up in bed, which is good. Barbie, I think, oh my God, Amethyst, you were so keen tonight. <laughs> Amethyst seems like the one in the family who just wants to get everyone keen to go out and do family activities, keep the family together. Dance skill acquired. Wow, Onyx. Yeah, he's having a great old time. He went out on an outing. He's like, 
I ain't a loader no more. This is, no, he doesn't speak like that. Uh, maybe let's get something to eat. And Ruby's already in bed, so we can't really talk to the butler anymore. How was her relationship with uh, the old butler? Oh, it's quite far down. Ugh, Wolfgang. Wolfgang just was not interested. Just not interested at all. Marco. Acquaintances still. Definitely need to work on that. Alright, Onyx having a bit of a Sunday late night snack. That's good. Pearl's asleep. Um, oh, wait. No, no, no. We wanted her to get some hygiene happening. You just have a nice, thoughtful shower before you go to bed. And then you'll get plenty of sleep. You've done your homework. I think she'll be feeling super organized for school in the morning. And, yeah. I think that's good. I think... I think everything's going well. I'm loving the jazz music as well. Feeling very jazzy. Okay, let's go upstairs and get Onyx into bed as well. He can have a shower in the morning, I'm thinking. Oh, he's gonna, gonna check out the lemons. Um, but yeah. Why is she embarrassed? Fashion's gone. Oh, from Ruby criticizing her outfit. Oh, and she's crying in the shower because she's so embarrassed. She got embarrassed in front of a cute boy. We'll get her to go to sleep. Ruby is so mean. Uh, and let's maybe get Jem to... Why are they hanging out in the butler's room? You know, sometimes they do the weirdest stuff. Let's, um... And he's hanging out up here. Let's get... You know what? I think we should invite Marco over for a little bit of a something something. Uh... I think Jem might do that. All right, well, I've been recording for <laughs> half an hour now, so I can't believe Barbie has not popped yet. I feel like we've been waiting for this forever for so many parts, but I think I'm gonna leave this part right here. And like, I've, I was convinced we would have babies and would go into giving birth in this part, but we haven't. So I guess we've just gotta wait till the next part. So I will record that. ASAP for you guys because I just can't wait any longer to be honest <laughs> anyways you guys sorry about the wait on the babies but uh maybe she's a little past her due date so maybe it means there's two babies in there we can only hope anyways you guys I hope you're having a lovely morning afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world and I'll speak to you soon